Get ready to get inspired by the design finishes and extras that you'll find in one of two featured homes on this season's Fall Parade of Homes. We are coming to you from the Canterbury Heights neighborhood in Northeast Sioux Falls, so you are surrounded by nature and expansive views of the city. And once you step inside, you will appreciate just how well they've used the space here. Here's what I'm talking about. This home is five bedrooms and about 4,700 square feet. So they've really taken advantage of every corner of the floor plan. You walk in, there's a mudroom area, a laundry, a bathroom. The kitchen is right off of the entry. There's a bonus closet over there. And then it leads you into the great room, which has really high ceilings. And that is a theme throughout. Lots of high ceilings here, which they've used to create a true feeling of spaciousness throughout the home. The main floor is a really open floor plan. One space flows directly into the next. You've got your kitchen with a huge pantry that leads right to the dining space, the patio space, of course, the living space. Off of here, there's a really nice custom office and they've still managed to fit two bedrooms on the main level, including the master suite, which has lots of one of a kind design touches from the accent walls to the ceilings. There's a really impressive walk-in closet here. Uh, and the master bath has its share of extras as well. I got to show you this, the tub and the shower are in the same enclosure. And not only that, but there's heated tile floor throughout, including in the shower. Upstairs, you'll find two more bedrooms and an additional closet, plus a full bath. And this bonus lofted area that's shown with a desk, I could see it as a good space for homework or even a second office up here. Now let's head down to the lower level. This is where the fun really starts. Obviously, this is the place in the home where you want to watch the game. There's a wet bar attached to the family room. There's also a fun little kids play area down below. And there's no excuse not to get your workout in with this impressive fitness center. And right next to it is this, I think the largest sport court I have ever seen in a home. And now you get to see it for yourself. The second weekend of the Fall Parade of Homes is coming up. And for all of the details, I am here with Craig Winya from Jaron Homes, the builder of uh, both featured homes, as it happens on this year's parade, including this one. So congratulations yeah, on some great work here. Yeah, I appreciate it. it was been, it's been great. So first of all, how did that first weekend of the parade go? What were the takeaways? You know, this first weekend was really good. We had really good flow through both houses, um, lots of people, lots of interest in building, and a lot of positivity out there. So when we talk specifically about this home, uh, what kind of reactions did you get when people came in the door? Uh, the wow factor. Right. I mean, people walked in, the tall ceilings, a lot of the detail finishes in here. People were just like, wow. This is, you know, they just wanted to sit down on the couch, hang out, and just relax. No, I showed some already, of course, but as a builder, what stands out to you here? You know, there's just so many different details here and I've been working on this project for a period of time now. So all these features just kind of blend together for me. But uh, one of the highlights here to me is that sport court downstairs. Um, it was just a neat feature that we were allowed to put into this house with the owner. Well, a nice space planning on your part, I feel like all throughout. And that's the thing. This is not an overly huge house. You guys have just made really smart decisions here, I think. Yeah, and what it is, is it's, it's all about planning. So we sat down for almost two months working back and forth with the owner, drawing the plans up, getting them detailed, getting things figured out so that we didn't have wasted space. And so we maximized the use of every little bit of the house and the square footage that we could. Oh, some of the best advice I have heard for Parade of Homes is, you know, you don't have to be in the million dollar plus market to take ideas from a property like this or the other featured homes, right, and integrate them into something at any price point. And same goes with those higher end buyers. So mix it up and go see a lot. What kind of advice do you have? You know, that is one of the best things to say is that when you come out to the Parade of Homes, any one of the details and finishes you see in these high end homes, you can take back and put it in a smaller home. It, yes, it's going to be at a smaller scale but we can still achieve a lot of those detail finishes. So come out, meet the builders, talk to them, get their ideas, take, you know, see if it's all right with them to take a picture or something, but you can go back and utilize it in any project that you might have going. Now we do have some real important advice if you are coming out for the second weekend and it has to do with what you need to download and the best way to get around and see all of these houses. Yeah, you wanna definitely go onto the um, South Dakota Home Builders website page and they on there have um, a link so you can go to their uh, map, the 
to go find all these different houses. And then there are some houses that are going to be closed the second weekend that were open the first. So you want to definitely go to the website and check that stuff out. Otherwise, if you get into one of the parade homes, there's usually a magazine around with a list of all the houses and when they'll be open. That's right. Home Builders Association of the Sioux Empires who puts this on. So download that app. They make it very easy. Um, and, you know, finding a house like this isn't always so simple. I mean, this is a great area of town, but it's not one you're probably going to drive by all that often. Exactly. All right. Um, any final thoughts here before we uh, head into the closing weekend? Yeah, no, I just am excited for the second week and come up. It looks like we're going to have great weather again. So get out and see these wonderful homes by all these different builders. Perfect. Thanks again. Congratulations. September 21st, 22nd is what we are talking about. The homes are open from 1 to 5 p.m. If you would like more information about the event, head over to www.suefalls.business.